Being a parent can be one of the most rewarding jobs you will ever do, but at the same time, it can be very challenging. This video will provide you with information and recommendations about how we can all give children the best start in life. The years before five are so important and a time to cherish. The essentials to offering the greatest support to any child are to show, watch, wait, and praise. The first five years are the most important, and the first five years are the most important because that's when um, our brain, the wiring, is sort of the connections are being made in the brain. The experiences in the first five years will form the basis of everything that happens after that. If you've had a very positive, warm, nurturing brain, you know, and you've been exposed to lots of many, many different activities, um, then your chances of having a really good foundation for the rest of your life for baby. Research tells us that the first five years, and even the first two years, are pivotal to a child's ability to learn and create, to love, to trust, and to develop a strong sense of self, who they are. What's more, how we care for our children in their earliest years has a profound impact on how productive, resilient, compassionate, and confident they will be as adults. Adults who comfort, play with, and teach their infants and young children will establish secure relationships that can set the pattern for trusting relationships throughout life. Children who receive encouragement as they try new things and learn new information will find the processing of new information easier and will be more confident as they meet new challenges. If young children feel safe and secure, they learn to meet life's challenges with confidence and enthusiasm. The parent's biggest job in the upbringing of their child is to love and encourage them, to provide support so that um, they know they're doing well and not to downplay any of the things that they do so that they are then encouraged to do more and to try harder. They know that they are capable of achieving things. It gives them a feeling of success and the knowledge that they can, they can achieve things that other children can achieve. Now, kids don't come with a guidebook or a set of instructions for parents or caregivers. There's no magic potion that will transform all children into happy, resilient adults. But there are steps with proven results show, watch, wait, and praise. It's simple. Children do better when they are nurtured and stimulated by caring adults who know them well, who believe in them, who offer opportunities, who reinforce a positive self-image. The parents' role, uh, they have a very, very important role. And I would say for up here in the Northwest Territories, it's the parents and, and the extended family. Like it's the parents, it's the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, the elder cousins. Their role is very important, as, um, both from the point of view of, of giving the child encouragement and praise. Helping the child be proud of themselves. So praise and, and noticing how the child is developing, being able to say, Johnny, look, you can do this and you couldn't do it last week. Isn't that great? Look at how well you're doing. Caring adults can support the healthy development of our youngest children as they grow up, passing through many exciting and different stages of growth and development. Birth to six months, the age of security. Most important for a parent of the young infant is to make the baby feel secure and valued. Always respond to a baby. Pay attention to their cues and needs. Hold and touch them in ways that make them feel safe. Do or say things that let the baby know you understand them. Always position a baby so they can see your face. Bring interesting things to interact with as you play and talk. Talk to baby and describe everything they sense. Take baby to see and experience new things. Enjoy tummy time on the floor. Be sure to avoid too much stimulation. 
The parent has the most compelling role in a child's life and the most significant role. The parent is the first teacher and their relationship is paramount in a child's growth and development. Um, the parent mirrors the child and has the utmost respect. You know, when children look at the parent, they know that this person embraces them fully and completely. Six to 18 months, the age of discovery. The crawler is about to acquire the new skill of mobility. At this time, it is important to encourage the child to explore and discover. Encourage exploration, movement, and curiosity. Get down on baby's level and interact. Encourage baby to do things themselves. At the same time, be a secure base where they check in to be held or to be hugged. Provide a safe environment. Show the baby that you understand. Firmly but gently set limits for safety and social reasons. Talk to baby about the world around them. Always show them pleasure and pride in what they do. Well, I think a parent is there to initiate and to support. Um, I'd like to say to direct less and, and to observe more. I think that's the important part about being a parent is, is being there and being um, a participant in the play. 19 to 36 months. The age of identity. The toddler is mobile and maturing. As they start to discover the world, it is important to help them learn their place in the world and who they are. Encourage simple choices for your child. Set limits that will teach respect for self and others. Talk to your toddler about the world around them and their place in it. Be sure to assist with play and learning. Like the baby, show a toddler that you understand. Encourage pretend play and creative exploration. You look at them when they're small and you're raising them, making sure that uh, they learn something it shows on them. It's good. Three to five years. Age of independence. The preschooler is preparing to take on the world by themselves. At this age, it is important to help them learn to do things on their own, to solve problems, and use imagination. Build trust by sharing of feelings and daily experiences. Exploring different roles will promote a sense of security. Do this through pretend play, dress up, or puppets. Provide small responsibilities to fit into family routines. Play with language and make up new words. Quiet activities increase attention span and fine motor development. Provide lots of opportunity to run, climb, and play actively. Some of the facts and recommendations may contradict what you or others around you believe. Take your time to think about this information. Remember, every child is different, and every parent is too. But when you make comfort and play as essentials in how you care for your child, you can't go wrong. The parent plays a huge role. The parent is the role. I think a biggest job for a parent is to play with them, to love them, to support them, to interact with them.